movement has suffered a major blow following the nullification of its two parliamentary seats in Kilifi and Garissa counties. The High Court nullified the election of Lagdera MP Abdi Kadir Mohammed, while the High Court in Malindi annulled the election of Magarini MP Harrison Kombe. And as Stephen Latour reports, the Lagdera MP has vowed to challenge the decision in the Court of Appeal. The axe fell on two parliamentary seats Friday with Raila Odinga's ODM party on the receiving end. In Meru High Court, Judge Tripisa Wamai Cherere nullified the election of Lagdera MP Abdi Kadir Mohammed of ODM and ordered for a by election. In her ruling, Justice Cherere noted that the scrutiny of votes revealed irregularities, particularly the variances between the votes cast as compared to the voters identified by the Kim's gate, which was pleaded by the petitioners. The judgment further said that the scrutiny and recount revealed discrepancies with regard to the voters identified by the Kim's gate and the votes cast and found in the ballot boxes. However, Lagdera like MP Abdi Kadir Mohammed has vowed to challenge the decision and instructed his lawyers to move to the Court of Appeal. The petition was lodged by UDA candidate Ibrahim Zaytun. Already a stay order has been granted pending appeal. The most important thing is that I'm still, I'm still the MP of Lagdera and I will continue better the lives of people of Lagdera. I have instructed my lawyers to move expeditiously to the court of appeal to generate this outcome and recover our victory. We have no problem with that. Uh, all, all I can tell you is uh, this was just a process. It, it was not one day thing. And uh, in fact, we won all the, the petitioners have won all the, all the process and that will going to be one of them. Let him take his stay order and we have no problem with that. In Magarini constituency, Kilifi County, the ODM party also lost another parliamentary seat after the High Court in Malindi nullified the election of Harrison Combo. Justice Alfred Mabea, who delivered the judgment virtually, cited massive irregularities, voter staffing, interchanging of results, and reduction of votes. The Malindi court has ordered a fresh election be conducted through a by election. Leo Mahal Mahakama imetibitisha kwamba madai yetu ndani ya mahakama haya kuwa madai lakini ilikuwa ni ukweli kwamba kulikuwa na ukora kulikuwa na wizi na dhulma iliweza kufanyika leo tumepata nafasi kama mahakama ilivyoweza kutoa uamuzi wa kurudi tena uwanjani it was a waiver reprieve for Wajia Governor Ahmed Abdullahi who was also elected on an ODM ticket after the High Court in Nairobi dismissed a petition against him. Justice George Dulu upheld Governor Abdullahi's election and dismissed a petition that had been lodged by the Jubilee Party candidate in the 2022 general election, Adin Mohammed Hassan. Extremely happy that the... Uh um, the verdict of the court is delivered and um, it has upheld our election, myself, my brother Ahmed Mohammed, has been legally and constitutionally uh, elected as governor and deputy governor of Wajir County. Elsewhere, Garsen Court has dismissed the case challenging the election of Tana River Governor Dado Godana. The petitioner and IBC have been ordered to pay 3 million and 2 million shillings, respectively. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.